Yo estaba en el lugar donde me ha dicho, da todo lo que tienes. A thousand here, a thousand there, five hundred there, mira aquí, mira allá. I told him, it's your money. Yo le dije, es tu dinero. I'm nothing. Yo no soy nada. You're everything. Tú eres todo. All I have, you have given to me. Todo lo que ya tú tienes, me lo has dado. And he told me, everything I have is yours, daughter. Y me dijo, todo lo que yo tengo es tuyo, hija. Don't ever say you don't have. No andes diciendo que no tienes. Because what I have, Porque lo que yo tengo, you have. Tú lo tienes. And what you have, y lo que tú tienes, belongs to me anyway. Es para mí, entonces, <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. And he said, don't ever y me dijo, no, say you don't have. Nunca digas que no tienes. It's just in my hand until I release it. Amen. Solo que está en mis manos hasta que yo te lo doy. So I want you to remember. So yo quiero que tú te recuerdes. You're not able to outgive God. Tú no puedes darle de más a Dios. If you gave him everything you have. Si le das todo lo que tú tienes. And you stood there with nothing. Y tú te paras ahí sin nada. And have a husband that you have to bury. Y tú tienes un esposo que tú tienes que enterrar. And you've given away all you have. Y le han dado todo lo que tú tienes. And suddenly he dies. Y de pronto se muere. And you say, Lord. Y tú dices, Señor. I don't understand this. Yo no entiendo. Nothing is more important than this life that you took from me. Nada es más importante que esta vida que tú te quitaste. I don't know what you're going to do with his body. No sé qué vas a hacer con su cuerpo. Because I don't have money to bury the Porque body. Porque yo no tengo dinero para enterrarlo. But that's your problem, not mine. Pero ese es tu problema, no el mío. Well, as God is faithful to His word. Pues el Señor es fiel a su palabra. I was able to bury him. Yo pude enterrarlo. I got the biggest chapel there was with no money. Yo agarré la iglesia más grande sin dinero. I got the best casket that he told me to buy. Yo agarré la mejor caja que él me dijo que agarrar. With no money. Sin dinero. I didn't know how I would pay for it, but he said, get that casket, daughter. Yo no sabía cómo lo iba a pagar, pero me dijo, agarra esa caja, hija. I said, my father. He said, get the casket, daughter. Agarra esa caja, hija. So I said, I'll take that casket. Yo voy a agarrar esa caja. And they said, do you want the little chapel or the big chapel? I said, Lord, I said, get the biggest chapel. ¿Quieres una iglesia grande o una chiquita? Agarra la más grande. I said, I'll take the big chapel. Y le dijo, agarra la grande. And they said, how would you like to pay for this? I said, Lord. Yes, Señor. And he said, oh, that's okay. Dijo, we'll give you 30 days. By that time, maybe your insurance policy will come in. But they didn't know my husband had had several diabetic comas and was unsure, uninsurable. So there was no insurance. And he said, oh, tell you what. I know you're still very upset. Sé que todavía te sientes mal. So we'll extend it 60 days. How's that? Te vamos a dar entonces 60 días para eso. I said, Lord, is anything going to change in 60 days? Y yo dije, Señor, algo va a cambiar en sus 60 días. And then he said, Better yet, we'll leave it 90 days. Y me dijo, Bueno, vamos a dejar para 90 días. I thought, Okay, I can sell the house. Okay, y puedo vender la casa. And I'll take care of this. Y ya me encargo de eso. But the Lord said, No. Y el Señor me dijo, No. He had me. They called me from the company he worked for, the agency he worked for. Pero me llamaron de la agencia para donde trabajaba él. Which, by all everything natural, he should not have had any insurance with them either. Y por lo natural no tiene que tener nada de seguridad. Because they had changed various administrators had come in, and this is in Washington D.C. Cambiaron varios administradores en Washington D.C. And everybody said, you know, we don't even know if they, had, they renewed his policy when the new administrations changed. Y decimos, no sabemos si eh, renovaron la policía cuando todo cambió. I said, you know what? They said, I don't want to get your hopes up. I said, you can't get them up, but you can't get them down. Y dijeron, ¿sabes qué? No te quedan las esperanzas. Dijo, pues no puedes subir las esperanzas ni bajarlas, solamente ellos pueden. When you know your God. Cuando tú conoces a tu Dios. When he owns everything that you have. Cuando él te eres todo lo que tú tienes. He says, where is your heart? Where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. Where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. Who is your treasure? Quién es tu tesoro? There's only one treasure that I serve. Hay un tesoro que yo sirvo. That's a God that saved me and kept me from here. Y es el Señor que me salvó y que me ha mantenido todo este tiempo. A lot of people ask me, how did you walk with the Lord 51 years, one day at a time? Y me dicen, ¿cómo caminaste con el Señor 51 años, un día a la vez, un día a la vez? And he held my hand for 51 years. Every day, he was there. Él estaba ahí. People would say, "Oh, you're a Christian. 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 You're a Christian.
Porque yo sé lo que es estar así. I know where I came from. Yo sé dónde salí. I know what he brought me out. Yo sé que él me sacó. I knew I was going to hell before I met him. Yo sabía que iba para el infierno antes de conocerlo a él. But I had never heard the gospel. Pero nunca había escuchado el evangelio. I never heard. Nunca escuché. That he knew me. Que él me conocía a mí. And he died specifically for me. Y que murió específicamente por mí. When I heard that. Cuando yo escuché eso. I thought I never heard this before. Yo dije yo nunca escuché esto. And I gave my heart to Jesus. Y le di mi corazón a Jesús. And I was delivered that night. I was delivered yeah, from y fui many things that I had been involved in. De todo lo que yo había sido envuelta, How could I turn away from this great God? ¿Cómo me puedo a darle la vuelta al Señor este gran Dios? To be born again. Para volver a nacer de nuevo. This same God is the one that owns all the cattle on a thousand hills. Ese es el Dios que es dueño de todas las montañas. Que Él es dueño de toda la plata y de todo lo que tú tienes. Todo lo que Dios. El carro de Dios. Todo lo que tú tienes es de Dios. Amén. Todo lo que tú tienes es de Dios. Y no hay mejor banquero que Dios. Así que yo te quiero retar a ti. Ve a lo más profundo y dale a tu Dios. ¿Dónde está tu tesoro? Vamos a ver en un minuto. Mientras tomamos nuestros tiempos y nuestras ofrendas. ¿Los amo? Dios los bendiga. Amén. Y derramar bendición sobre ti. 
such as you have not room enough to contain. Hasta que no tengas un lugar donde contenerlo. Father, we thank you. Padre, te damos gracias. Because you're not mad that you lie. Porque tú eres hombres que mientas. As we bring our tithes and offerings. Porque traemos nuestros diezmos y nuestras ofrendas. We thank you. Te damos gracias. For the blessing that is ours. Por la bendición que es nuestra. Knowing that we're your children. Que somos tus hijos. Join heirs with Christ. Estamos unidos con Cristo. And all things are possible to us. Y todas las cosas son posibles para nosotros. We receive this blessing now. Recibimos esta bendición ahora. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. And we thank you for it. Y te damos gracias por ello. And we will give you glory. Y te damos gloria. And we will testify. Y vamos a testificar. Of your goodness. De tu bendición. And your love. Y tu amor. In Jesus' name we pray. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. God bless you. Bring your time and offer you. Amen. If you have participation today, I either send you the program by messenger or by text. Amen. Yes. Si tienen participación hoy en el programa, les mandé por texto o por messenger. We are going to change the program just a little bit because we have someone that needs to leave. So, vamos a cambiar un poquito el programa. Hay alguien que se tiene que ir. We are going to bring up, vamos a traer ahorita hacer uh, comunión the Holy Communion Pastors Roberto and Reina Moreno
que fue a mi esposo that time to my husband para celebrar la comunión to celebrate the holy communion porque espero que llegue el pastor Josué because I hope the pastor Josué gets here porque el señor de alguna manera because the Lord in certain ways me ha dicho que haga algo especial esta noche he told me to do something special tonight Amen. así que I'll be here in a couple minutes Aleluya. Aleluya. Isaías 41, 9. Isaiah 41, 9. Es una palabra profética para este ministerio. It's a prophetic word for this ministry. Porque te tomé de los confines de la tierra. Because I brought you from far away. Y de tierra lejana te llamé. And from far away lands I called you. Y te dije. And I told you. Mi siervo eres tú. You are my servant. ¿Quién nos escogió? Who chose you? Yo te escogí, dice el Señor. I chose you, says the Lord. No fue el hombre. It was not man. Fue el Señor. It was the Lord. Yo te escogí. I chose you. Y no te deseché. And I did not throw you out. Por lo tanto, dice, no temas. That's what the Lord said to not fear, contigo. because I am with you. No desmayes, porque yo soy tu Dios. Stay because I am your God. Siempre te ayudaré. I will always help you. Y siempre te sustentaré. And I always sustain you. Con la diestra de mi Dios. With my right hand. Amen. Amen. Ellos Amen. han sido instituidos en esta obra. They have been instituted in this hour por orden de Dios. By God. No fue hombre. God. It was not man. Muchas veces vienen tribulaciones. Many times there's tribulation. Y a veces dudamos. And sometimes we doubt. ¿Será que yo me apunté? Is it that I was the one that I was supposed to go? Or did I get desperate? Pero Dios tiene sus tiempos. But the Lord has His time. Y el Señor los ha escogido para este tiempo y en este lugar porque aquí hay gente que necesita ser libre. Ser libre. Be free to be free. Esto va a ser como un hospital donde va a llegar gente herida. Gente a punto de morir. Aquí va a ser una sala de partos. El pueblo de Israel cayó en esclavitud. The people of Israel fell in bondage. Y estaban siendo oprimidos. And they were being oppressed. Amargados. They were bitter. Con hambre. With hunger. Pobreza. Poverty. Y enfermedad. And sickness. Cinco elementos. Five elements. Que el enemigo usa. That the enemy uses. Para tener en esclavitud a la gente. To keep people in bondage. Opresión. Oppression. Amargura. Bitterness. Pobreza. Poverty, hambre, and hunger, and sickness. Pero viene la orden del Señor. But God's order comes. They go and kill a lamb. And he said, "Put the blood over the doors, people." To when they see twenty people coming, when they see the angel of death comes, pass through the door. If it does not stop, they pass over. They just pass over. Y ahí había vida. And there was life there. No muerte. Not death. Y hoy declaramos que en este lugar declare, la Pascua del Señor the Passover of the se manifiesta. That it will manifest. Hay un cubrimiento especial sobre este ministerio. There's a special covering over this donde ministry, la sangre del Cordero the blood of the lamb, ha sido puesta en este lugar. It has been, uh, poured out in this place. Eso tipificaba. That symbolizes que 1445 años después. That 1445. years later. Cuando Juan el Bautista vio venir a Jesús. When John the Baptist saw Jesus coming. Dijo, este es el Cordero de Dios. He said, this is the Lamb of God. Que quita el pecado del mundo. That takes away the sin of the world. Es él es nuestro Cordero. He was our Lamb. Y la noche que iba a ser entregado, traicionado, dice que él invitó a sus discípulos a celebrar la Pascua. Que fueron libres de la esclavitud. Y ahí instituyó la cena del Señor. El partimiento del pan the breaking of the bread, que hoy celebramos. Porque nuestro Cordero se llama Jesús. Name is Jesus. Es el que derramó su sangre. Yeah, he's the one that poured his blood for you. 
tiene en su If you have your cup, tiene, que, que todos tienen everybody has their cup cuando Jesús tomó el pan después de dar gracias when God, when Jesus took the bread after giving thanks, lo bendijo y dijo he blessed it and said, este es mi cuerpo que por vosotros es partido this is my body that has been broken haced for esto you. en memoria de mí Do this in memory of me. y después de haber cenado and after having supper, tomó la copa he took the cup, diciendo esta copa he said, es el nuevo pacto en mi sangre haced esto todas las veces Do all the, all the times que así es en memoria de mí you do it, do it in my porque cada vez que coman de este pan each time you of y beban this bread, de esta copa and you drink of this cup, la muerte del Señor anunciáis my death, you're, you're announcing my hasta death que Él venga until I hoy estamos anunciando que Jesús murió por nosotros that Jesus died for us, que Él resucitó y Él ascendió a los cielos y que un día volverá por nosotros Hoy estamos en esa celebración. Y tenemos nosotros un sacrificio. Más poderoso que millones de, de ovejas que fueron degolladas. Porque el mismo Hijo de Dios derramó su sangre por ti y por mí. Y en esta dispensación de la gracia es el Cordero de Dios It's the Lamb of God. que es nuestra cobertura It's our covering. por eso cuando tomó el pan y dijo este es mi cuerpo que por nosotros es partido estaba diciendo yo te prometí algo He was saying, I have promised you something. en Isaías declara And Isaiah declares que por sus llagas fuimos nosotros sanados y que él se llevaba todo lento y toda enfermedad y hoy vamos a recordarle al mundo espiritual a nuestro cuerpo a nuestra mente que tenemos la promesa cumplida Pedro se paró un día y dijo vosotros ya están sanos ya son libres porque Jesús ya pagó por nosotros no es una promesa no es una profecía es un cumplimiento de su palabra usted y yo estamos sanos por la sangre del cordero por el cuerpo que fue molido así con toda autoridad usted puede decir el diagnóstico del doctor se va yo acepto solamente el diagnóstico de, mi, de la palabra de Dios él envió su palabra dice el salmo y nos así que levanta este pan y diga gracias Señor porque tu cuerpo nos hizo sanos yo declaro mi sanidad completa total mi corazón está sano es más un trasplante de corazón que necesito un trasplante Dios hoy lo hace mis pulmones están sanos no importa que el COVID haya hecho desastre tus pulmones están sanos tu hígado tus riñones tu páncreas tu vaso vaso tu vaso el órgano en tu cuerpo cada órgano en tu cuerpo está sano mis ojos están sanos mis oídos mis huesos mis músculos mi sistema respiratorio mi sistema nervioso está sano porque un cuerpo pagó por mí así que coma el pan So eat the bread in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Lord, we ask you for forgiveness. Porque tú sufriste. Because you suffered. El castigo de nuestros pecados. The chastisement for our sins. 
Pero tú dijiste, but you said este era como el nuevo pacto en mi sangre, this is the cup of our covenant in my blood pagaste, in which you por paid for our sin Te we ask you for forgiveness lo que sufrir, because what we should have suffered Tú sufriste por nosotros. You suffered for us. Gracias por esta copa. Thank you for this cup. Que representa mi salvación. That represents my salvation. En esta copa está representada. And this cup is represented. Mi nueva identidad como hijo tuyo. It's representing my new identity like as your child. Fui justificado. I was justified. Fui redimido. I was redeemed. Fui santificado. I was sanctified. Fui reconciliado. I was reconciled por tu bendita sangre. By your uh, blessing of blood. Gracias por tu promesa. Thank you for your promise. De que voy a ser salvo yo. Because I'm going to be saved. En toda mi casa. In all my house. Así que declare. So declare. Tu descendencia. Your descendants. Seres amados. Están your loved ones. Libres. They're being free. De la muerte. From death. Por la bendita sangre del cordero. By the precious blood of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Señor, and say, Lord, thank you. For the liberty. Gracias. Thank you. For my salvation. In the name of Jesus. We take a cup. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Lord. This sacrifice nos cubre. It covers us. Declarando que ningún arma forjada en contra de nosotros va a prosperar y que toda lengua que se levante en contra de este ministerio va a ser polvo así que gracias bendito Padre en este mismo sentido. Y en este mismo sentido. Uh, yo sé que hay algo especial. I know there is something special, Pastor, come over with your wife. Pero en todo este tiempo, But in all this time, el Señor me Lord spoke. Eh, como tú decías, nos conocimos. We met, like you said. Muy linda amistad. Very beautiful uh, friendship. Y yo recuerdo. And I remember. Que te invité a pasar participar conmigo. And I remember that I invited you to participate with me. En, en una mesa mujer. In a women's uh, event. Me acuerdo que estaban atravesando por algo difícil. I remember that you guys were going through something difficult. Y tú querías saber nada más de lo que de, de, de lo que pudiste. And you wanted to get more than you did. Probably that you, that you could have. Y yo recuerdo que ese día que era el 9. And I remember that it was the 9. De noviembre. November 9 de 2019 y el Señor me, me dijo algo de noviembre 9 en matemáticas In, um, el orden de los factores And then about the factors, no el de los productos not about the product. y era un 9 11 It was a 9 -11 para él for them. y me dijo ¿Verdad? Un día especial este día. Yo te entregué un anillo. Y te dije en la autoridad. Y hubo palabras bien lindas. Y yo le pregunté a ese esposo. Por el anillo. Y me dice, lo perdí. Y me dijo el Señor. Que le volví a entregar. So, un anillo hoy porque hoy sí Because now, esa autoridad se va a ser presente it's gonna be present. déjame decirte que dice que es Let me tell you that it, it tiene says, un décimo de carat de diamante it has like a decimal of a carat of diamond y ese diamante that diamond te recuerda el proceso reminds you of the process tan difícil that it was so hard que has tenido que pasar that you have to pass para que hoy brille so you can shine y el Señor and the Lord me dijo que oh. te lo volviera a poner en
Pero te recuerda But it reminds you de la unción poderosa of the powerful anointing y la autoridad que te ha dado el Señor the authority that the Lord has given you para este tiempo. For this, such a time as this. Y yo le decía, todavía, him all day, me pregunté a and Maggie, I said, I said to Maggie que me averiguara algo to find out something for me para el pastor. for pastor. Pero el Señor me dijo, no. But the Lord said, no. Yo tengo algo diferente para él. I have something different for him. Nosotros platicamos. We spoke. Él no tenía todavía ganas. He didn't want to. De predicar. To preach it. Yet. Y yo le dije, se va a llegar el tiempo. And I said, the day will come. En que el Señor te va a recordar todas las promesas que te ha hecho. Que Where the ocho. Lord is going to remind you all the promises that he has made to you. There are many. Y van a salir. And they're going to come out. Llegó el día. And the day came. Y él tuvo que pasar un proceso difícil. Yo sabía que era el Señor en su vida. He had to go through a very difficult process, but I knew that it was the Lord. Dejándolo listo. Preparing him. Para este tiempo. For such a time as this. Porque los dos llegó un tiempo. Because both of them. Que clamaban a Dios. Because there was a time where you were crying out to God. You were making prayers to God. En el hospital. In that hospital. Llegó un tiempo que le dijiste Señor perdona. There was a time where you said Lord forgive me. Y el Señor te da esta oportunidad grande. Y te levanta con una unción. Y una visión de águila. Con una visión de águila. Que vas a ver más allá. Y aún muchos que están aquí. No van a poder ver. Le voy a poner a mi foto. Que te lo ponga. Y es un águila. Así como está. Honor, That's why you're nombre. making the honor to the ministry. He has renewed your strength, your beak, your beak, everything. You have been renewed for such a time as this. Y ahora sí que nos vamos a levantar para adorar al Señor. Y vamos a orar para que Dios te ayude a I want to bless. Then, so I would ask you if you could please stand up on your feet. I want to bless you with a special anointing. Es de parte del Señor. This is from, coming from God. No es mi idea. It's not my idea. Solo yo quise ser obediente a lo que Señor me ha dado. I just wanted to be obedient to the Lord. Con nuevo tiempo. For a new time. Una nueva temporada. For a new season. Así como ha sido la lucha. Just like the fight has been. Muy grande viene la bendición. Greater, the greater will be the blessing. Han sido entrenados. And you have been trained. Han sido capacitados. You have been um, equipped. El Señor los empujó a ir más allá. The Lord pushed you beyond. A creerle. To believe Him. Y yo declaro esta, este día. And I declare this day. Con esto, hombre y varón. Have, digo, mujer y varón. Uh, men and uh, women. Que se han convertido. That you have converted. Eh, y son ahora. And you are now. Un, una pareja. You are a couple. Con una fe. With a faith. Inquebrantable. It is unbreakable. Inquebrantable. Unbreakable. Lo vamos a bendecir, me ayuda. We're going to bless them. Can you Levante y comienza a declarar. Start Somos. declaring. Padre, te damos gracias. God, we thank you. Te bendecimos, mi Dios. We bless you, my Lord. Te adoramos. We worship you. Eres grande, mi Dios. Eres grande. You are great. Gracias. Thank you. Por tu fidelidad. For your faithfulness. Gracias por tu respaldo. Thank you for backing us up. Gracias. Thank you. Porque oh. tus promesas. Because your promises. Con ti. They're real. Y son amén, mi Dios. They're yes and amen, my Lord. Y nos has prometido. And you have promised. Y vas a cumplir. Porque está establecido. En tu palabra. Que tú no eres hombre para que mientas. Ni hijo de hombre para que te arrepientas. Y le has prometido a tus hijos. Y le has abierto puertas. Porque este es tu tiempo. Porque ellos, señores, han escuchado tu voz. Porque han ido hacia adelante. Porque comenzaron a caminar en fe. 
y han sido obedientes. Y dice tu palabra. En Deuteronomio 28. Que si escucharas atentamente su voz e hicieras todo lo que está escrito, todas estas bendiciones y yo declaro por la obediencia de ellos que las bendiciones lo van a alcanzar que las bendiciones lo van a alcanzar que vas a traer personas dignas Señor del Cielo Padre bendito Dios temerosas Señor del Cielo obedientes que los amen que los cuiden que le levanten los brazos Señor del Cielo que trabajen Señor del Cielo Padre empujando la visión empujando Señor del Cielo Padre y sosteniendo en oración al diccionario Padre declaramos un día de victoria declaramos que algo grande comienza declaramos Padre bendito Dios que vamos a ser testigos de las grandes y maravillosas cosas que vas a hacer con ellos y a través de ellos mi Dios un nuevo comienzo un nuevo día una nueva pasión una nueva comunión que, que les va a provocar tener mucha mucha dirección del Padre mucho de Dios para ser impregnado y que este hospital que esté abierto funcione a un nivel mayor espiritual porque no es cualquier hospital no es cualquier hospital son comisionados son embajadores son representantes del reino que creen en la unidad que creen que unidos son más poderosos como dice tu palabra uno a subir a mil pero dos a diez mil aleluya aleluya Nada más quería repetir otra vez porque Josué no estaba aquí. Josué dije, este ministerio es porque Dios así lo quiso. Isaías 41.9 es un cumplimiento profético para tu vida. Porque te tomé de los confines de la tierra. ¿De dónde eres? Honduras, ¿a cuántos kilómetros de aquí? ¿A cuántos kilómetros de aquí? Dos mil millas. Porque te tomé de los confines de la tierra. Sí, ella. Y él los trajo para aquí. Y de tierra lejana te llamé y te dije, mi siervo. Yo te escogí, dice el Señor. Que te vienes en tu mente, en tu corazón, que el que te escogió fue Dios. No fue el hombre que te llamó. No fuiste tú que decidiste. Fue Dios que instaló en este lugar. Y toda obra que empieza es porque el amor del Padre quiere derramarse en este lugar. Va a salvar vidas alrededor. Y esta va a ser una sucursal del reino de los cielos. Una embajada del reino de los cielos. Of God's kingdom. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. How beautiful, right? Amen. This shows you how much you are 
adorado. Esto te enseña lo cuanto eres amado. God sends you his best. Yes. Dios te manda lo mejor para ti. Amen. Amen. Wow. Wow. Yes. I cannot wait to see this church grow. Yes. And all the souls that are going to be y saved. Los que van a ser and healed. Amen. 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 So with that, we are going to bring forth our very own VP of HFBN. Vamos a traer a, a nuestra vicepresidenta de uh, HSBN. Dr. Apostle Rosanna Roman. La doctora Apostle Rosanna Roman. She is going to say the word. Ella trae la palabra. She is powerful. Ella es poderosa. La palabra. You are going to get a treat. Tú vas a tener aquí algo muy bueno. Amen. 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 I, sure. I just want to say that this beautiful woman of God is a very humble woman, very powerful, but very, very humble. And um, she has been part of that renewing that God was doing in us for a while, for a season. And I am so honored and thankful be beyond, beyond what I could tell you if I sat down with you and tell you how thankful I am for your life and your husband. You guys are just beautiful and mighty in the Lord. You, you guys shine everywhere you guys step. You guys have a humbleness and love for the people. True love. Amen. Amen. True love. Amen. So thank you very much. I love you both. You know what? I mean, I, mean, I, I think that way about this little girl right here because Yo pienso eso de esta niña aquí. Porque el espíritu de honor. She, she wears it. Ella she lo, wears lo usa, lo usa. Yeah.
she's here now, she's part of this church, so they're both very special to me. Okay, well, I have a word for, actually it's a prophetic word, okay? It is a, a message, it is a sermon, but it is a prophetic sermon. Es un mensaje, es un mensaje profético, pero es un mensaje. And it is directly for you and your husband. Y es directamente para ti, para tu esposo. But we also know the word is for all. Pero so get, sabemos que la so get es para your little todos. mitts out and get ready to get ready to receive the word of Así God. Que prepárese para recibir yeah. la palabra yeah. de Dios. Okay. I did ask. I did ask my husband. Is okay if I get a teal dress? Si le pregunté a esposo, está bien si va a usar un teal dress. He said, No, go in your closet and get, dijo, get your dress. Ve a tu closet y saca un vestido como turquesa. So Amen. anyway, I'll just call her the beautiful, day. beautiful. And her husband's matching as well. Yeah. And I told my husband, Amen. I have not seen another man like like uh, Brother Danny supporting his wife. It's she preaches under her earrings fall off. That's how powerful she is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and well. Brother Dan is always there. Ready. ready. <laughs> Supporting. This is the first supporter. I love that about you. Oh, guys. my goodness. Well, you know, you know our background. Oh, you want to say something. Amen. <laughs> when when um, these people were up here doing Shofar, and your husband was up here leading, every time they were blowing the trumpet, I could see the angels taking the notes up to cada vez que los tocaban el chofer yo miraba que tomaban los ángeles las notas al padre y eso me dice que la palabra que sale de su boca se puede escuchar todas las palabras que salen de tu boca es poderoso le está estableciendo le está estableciendo thank you brother Danny the Lord is saying that um, there's an eagle anointing here. Hay una unción de águila aquí. Eagle anointing here. She, or I should say them. They are high Ellos son, flyers. Ellos the Lord alto. says you're a high flyer. You're a visionary. Eres un visionario. And visionaries are record breakers. Y ellos quedan record los visionarios. You guys are record breakers. Then say it's the Lord. You will Ustedes be breaking record, records. Dice, Señor, records. You will be accelerating. Para estar acelerando. There will be divine speed in your life and in your ministry. Un aceleramiento. The Lord says, as a eagle, as an eagle, como un águila. You are powerful. Eres poderoso. She is persuasive, Ella and so is the man of God. They are dynamic, they are influential, they are commanding, and they are a capable couple in Jesus' name. Revelations 3, 7 says, I'm going to open doors for you that no man can shut. No critic can shut. No adversary is going to be able to shut. No competitor is going to be able to shut. I'm going to open doors that no backbiters, no haters, and no mockers can shut. Stop. The Lord says, I have international doors. I have international doors because you are an international gift and you carry a transgenerational mandate which means it goes from your seed to your seed to your seed and to your seed. That's a transgenerational mandate. Isaiah 60 and 11 says the gates of the nation are open to you. The gates of the nation are open to you. The gates of the nation are open to you. The are open to you. You're going to have the Lord says in Psalms 2, 8. Salmos 2, 8. Nations are for your inheritance and the whole world Naciones is your possession. Isaiah 54, 2 says, Enlarge your house. Build an addition. And spare no expense. 
no quites nada. For you will soon be busting out of the sea. Porque muy pronto vas a tener mucho. In Jesus' mighty name. En el nombre del poderoso Jesús. You are a global gift, not just a local gift. de global, no solamente local. We want sometimes we want local acceptance. A veces and the Lord says, no, I've got global acceptance. Pero si think dice, bigger, no, think no global, global. Think, think more. Es global, think, think más. Enlarge your game. Piensa en crecer tu campamento. Okay, here's a word. Grab it. You're not going to have a breakdown that says the Lord. No You're going to have a breakthrough in Jesus' name. You've been in, in, in an evening season. Some of you have been in an evening season. Some of you have been in a midnight season. Some of you have been in a winter season. Some of you have been in a desert season in your life. But Ecclesiastes 3, Ecclesiastes 3 says, for every, everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. There is a time to break down. There is a time to build up. There is a time to weep. There is a time to laugh. You're in a dark season right now, but just say it, Lord, I'm moving and I'm shifting your season, and there shall be a season of light in your life. In one season, Ruth was working in the field, but in the very next season, she was owning the field. In one season, Lazarus died. But in the next season, he was resurrected and alive. In one season, you're in poverty. But in the next season, you're in prosperity. In one season, Joseph was a prisoner. But in the next season, he was a prime minister. In one season, you're a single. But in the next season, you're going to be married. In one season, David was a shepherd boy. But in the next season, he was a king. You may be going through a breakdown right now. But there is another season of breakthrough that is coming. You might be broken this season right now. But there is another season and that money is coming. You may be in unemployment season right now, but there is another season of employment coming. You, you don't be moved. Don't be moved just because you're in a breakdown season. This too shall pass, says the Lord. This too shall pass, says the Lord. This too shall pass. Your current season is not your final destination. Your problems may be lasting, but they're not everlasting. Your problems are transient. They're not permanent. Okay, in Jesus' name, let's go into prayer. Father, I just thank you that as I decrease, Father, you increase. As I exit, Father, you enter. Father God, as I submerge, Father, you emerge. Father God, as I fade, you fashion your people. As, a, as I receive, you restore. Okay, this is just going to be a short, a short word, but it, is, but it is for you and for your husband, but anybody out there who grabbed on to it. Okay, we're going to talk about the life of Daniel. Okay, the anointing of greatness. The anointing of greatness. There is an anointing of greatness that is upon you and your husband. There is an anointing of greatness upon you and your husband. You live in humility. So the Lord says, I'm going to lift up all those who are bowed down and I'm going to elevate those that are humble. Daniel. Okay, we're going to come here. Daniel. 27, 28, 27, 28, 46 through 48, 46 and 48, and then 6 and 3. 6 and 3. There's my water. Right here. Okay. Okay. No, that's okay. Daniel answered. Y Daniel in, respondió. In the presence of the king. En la presencia del rey. And said, thank you, honey. And said, 
Y dijo, the secret which the king dreamed, the wise men, the astrologers, el secreto que soñó y que los astrólogos y los sabios, the magicians, y los magos, los magos, and the soothsayers, y los que decían uh, lo que escuchaban, cannot declare no pueden declarar to the king, right? The, the king had a dream. Al rey, el rey tuvo Nobody un on his panel was able to tell him what the dream Nadie was. Su panel le puede decir que era su Verse sueño. 28. El versículo 28. But he said, but Daniel said that there is a God in heaven. Pero Daniel dijo, Hay and he reveals secrets. Y él revela secretos. He will make known King Nebuchadnezzar what the dream is. Él va a hacer saber lo que el sueño de Nabucodonosor fue. Verse 36. Versículo 36. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell before Daniel after Luego, Daniel told him the dream el rey and dijo, commanded that they should present Daniel offerings le dijo, and incense to him. Que le presenten a Daniel incienso Verse 47. y regalos a él. Then the king answered Daniel, Truly, your God is the God of God. Y el rey le dijo a Daniel, Dios es el Dios de Dios. The Lord is the King of Kings. El Señor es el Señor de Señor. Nebuchadnezzar is saying he is the revealer of secrets. Nabucodonosor dijo, él es el que revela los secretos. Verse 48 says, Versículo 48 dice, Then the king promoted Daniel. El rey promovió a Daniel. And gave him great gifts. Y le dio grandes regalos. And made him ruler over Babylon. Y lo hizo Babylon. que reinara sobre Babilonia. And the chief administrator all of all of the wise men. Y mano derecha administrador de todos los que estaban los sabios. And Daniel petitioned the king for his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he said, put them over the fairs of Babylon. But Daniel sat at the gates. I release the anointing of greatness right now in the name of Jesus. I release that anointing of greatness right now in the name of Jesus. It is a distinct anointing. It is a standout anointing. It is a standout head and shoulders above the rest anointing. You will stand out head and shoulders above the rest because you're a distinct gift. You're, you're not like any other gift. You're very unique. So the Lord says you are wearing that spirit of greatness. Daniel 6.3 says, Daniel 6.3. Daniel 6.3 dice. Now Daniel, Daniel so distinguished himself fue, among the administrators. Entre los administradores and the satraps. Y los satraps. By his exceptional qualities. Por sus cualidades muy excepcionales. Daniel was a man of prayer. That's Daniel what I really admire about Daniel. He was a man of prayer. Se porque era un hombre de and praying people de are oración. and praying people are prevailing people. Y la gente que ora, gente que prevalece. Praying people are perseverant people. La gente que ora, Pair, praying people are fierce people. La gente que ora, es gente que es praying people are overcoming la gente people. Que ora, they gente are que empowered. Vence. They are strong. They are unrelenting. They have reward and they have promotion and they have benefits. And that's what we're here for today. To, to celebrate your promotion. God Himself has shown them and said, This is my beloved son and daughter in whom I am well pleased. Uh, Psalm 76, 6 and 7. 76, 6 and 7. Promotion doesn't come from the east or the west. But promotion comes from the Lord. I see the anointing of greatness. It has come upon you. You have influence, says the Lord. To be great means that you are increased, that you have increased La access. To be great means that you have increased in people. To be great means that you have access to resources. You have access to opportunities. And you give those opportunities to others. Proverbs 29.2 says, 
When the righteous rule, the people rejoice. You will rule and you will reign. You will walk in dominion. You are a decision maker. You are a policy maker. Daniel outlived and he outlasted kings. Daniel served under four kings. Nebuchadnezzar, Belteshazzar, Darius, and Cyprus. The anointing of greatness will cause you to outlast and outlive kings and outlast and outlive In the name of Jesus, it will cause you. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay. They left him in greatness and he was established. Those kings died, but Daniel remained. And they left Daniel in greatness and establishment. He was established firm. He had prominence and he had significance. The Lord says you will have prominence and you will have significance. More than you have right now. More than you have right now. People in power are going to start looking for you. People in power will start looking for you. People in prominence will start looking for you. People with stature are going to start looking for you. Okay. Whether you're in business, whether you're a housewife, whether you're in ministry, whether you're in health care, whether you're a teacher, people of power will start looking for you. Why? Because you carry the presence of God. Because you carry significance and you carry prominence inside of you. The kings will look for you. Lady, the kings will look for you. The presidents will look for you. Now we're talking big here. Can your faith grab that? Can your faith grab that? Okay, presidents will look for you. Officials will look for you. Dignitaries will look for you. Prepare yourself, the body of Christ. Prepare yourself to walk into the presence of a king. Prepare yourself to walk into the presence of a dignitary. Prepare yourself to walk into the presence of an official. Look the part. Speak the part. Believe that you have that inside of you. The anointing of greatness. When you're looking for someone per, to promote, they're going to look for you. When you're looking for somebody to promote, they're going to look to you. When you're looking for somebody to honor, they're going to look to you. Oh, okay, thank you, honey. When they're looking for somebody to honor, they're going to look for you. When they're looking for somebody to elevate and open doors for, they're going to look for you. When they're looking for you, somebody to appoint, they will look to you. They will look for you. The dignitaries will look for you because you've got answers. They're going to look for you, to you, because you have answers. You have solutions. You have strategies. You know the mind of God. You know the will of God. You know the heart of God. They're going to look for you. You may be talented in your past, and but you were invisible. You may be gifted in your past, but you were hidden. You may have been anointed in your past, but you are not. You have been unseen. You might be gifted, but you were hidden. Why? By God. You were hidden by God. You were hidden by God. You were not seen until the appointed time. This is that. This is that. This is that. This is the appointed time. This is the appointed time. Struggle has been part of our story. 
su historia. But when struggle is over, God crowns you. Pero cuando la lucha se termina, Dios te corona. When struggle, when when the struggle is over, God will honor you. Cuando ya se termina la lucha, Dios te va a honrar. When the struggle is over, God will exalt you. Cuando se termina la lucha, Dios te va a honrar. When the struggle is over, God restores you. Cuando ya se termina la lucha, Dios te va a restaurar. When the struggle is over, God promotes you. Cuando la lucha se termina, Dios te promociona. And that's what we see right now. The struggles of yesterday are now over. God does all things. Your eyes have not seen. Your ears have not even heard. All the good things that God has prepared for you and your seed. And all those who are connected to you. Whoever is covenant and connected to you prospers. Whoever is covenant connected to you is honored. Whoever is covenant connected to you is elevated. In Jesus' name. The Lord says, I'm taking you out of obscurity and bringing you into notoriety. I'm taking you out of anonymity where nobody knows your name and placing you in visibility. I'm taking you out of your concealed season into your revealed season. I'm taking you from the underdog to the top dog. In Jesus' name, the Lord says, you're going to jump ahead. You're going to cross boundaries. You're going to take territories and you're going to pick up speed, says the Lord. You will re represent Christ in the corridors of power. You will represent Christ in the corridors of power. You will represent Christ in the corridors of power. I'm looking to that in my own life. One time I was invited to the White House. And then the plans fell through. And I said, Lord, you're just showing me the things that are to come. You're showing me the things that are to come. So I'm getting ready. I'm starting. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dress different. I'm going to talk different. I'm going to walk different. I'm going to stand at a higher level than I've been before. In preparation for that next season. In preparation for that White House. Yes. So God said... You will represent him in the corridors of power. Proverbs 22, 29 says, Do you see someone who's skilled in their work? They will, they will stand before kings and they will not be in front of people of low rank. Wow, because you are skilled. Because you are skilled with the word of God. Because you have spent time in the word of God. Because you know the word of God. Because you do the word of God. The Lord says you're skilled. You're skilled. And I'm not going to let you go before no ranking people. I'm going to bring you before high officials. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, you will stand before the great, says the Lord. You will stand before great men. You will stand before kings. You will stand before mayors. You will stand before governors. You will stand before lawmakers. You, will, you are royalty. You are nobility. You are royalty. You are nobility. You shall stand before great men and women. Not low-ranking people, but great men and women. People that can open doors for you. People that can favor you. People that... <laughs> okay, all right. So, release the... Again, we release the anointing of greatness. We release the anointing, Daniel's anointing. You're multifaceted. You've got many anointings and many mantles. You carry the Deborah mantle. You carry the Proverbs 31 mantle. You carry the Esther mantle. And where is your husband? He does too. He's got many mantles that he has carried. Many mantles. The anointing of greatness. The he says, he says the anointing of Daniel. We have yet to see. We have all yet to see how the Lord is going to change 
good life. Can you live to another man? Just like Saul. Just like Saul. Así como Saul. Okay, favor to stand in high places. You have favor to stand in high places. You have favor to stand in high places, young man. You have favor to stand in peace with kings. The God that lifts people from the dust and sets them among princes. That's what God does. He sets people that are low in rank and he brings them up and he sets them before kings and princes. I love that about our God. God will take a nobody and he will turn them into somebody without asking anybody. Uh, he says, I don't need permission from your boss to elevate you. I don't need to consult the committee to promote you. He said, I don't need author authorization from any official to exalt you. I don't need clearance from the advisory board to lift you up. That's right. When the spirit of greatness comes upon you, he says, I will take you where you cannot take yourself. I will take you where you cannot take yourself. You don't need any qualifications. You don't need any credentials. You don't need any certificates. You don't need any accreditation. All you need is me, says the Lord. It doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter where you were born. Daniel was born a captive. Daniel was born into a, he was a prisoner. He was a foreigner. He was a slave. Okay, but when the anointing of greatness came upon Daniel, it didn't matter where he was born. It didn't matter where he was right now. I know I was born in the Loma. I don't know if anybody had heard about that. It's a barrio in Bakersfield, California. I don't know if you can get any lower than that. I, I don't know. Bakersfield is just something else. You know, they call it the armpit of California. <laughs> okay. But he says, I embrace the discarded. This is what I love about our God. He says, I embrace the discarded. I choose the zeros. He said, I raise the nobodies. I acknowledge the misfits. I elevate the powerless. He says, he forgives the unforgivable. He positions the weak and the feeble. He loves the unlovable. And the last on the list. That's me. That's me. Now in the world, the world says that we're last on the list. The world says that we're misfits. The world says that we're the least. Thank you. Yeah, I spend a lot. The world says we are the least. God just the least. But the world does. Are you ready to walk in the corridors of power? Are you ready to walk in the corridors of power, says the Lord? Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Your voice will be heard in the corridors of power. As men of stature, of women of stature, men and women of prominence. And we're going to start with the, that, those that are in this city right here. You'll meet them. You're going to meet them. We met them. You met them. <laughs> It's just gonna go up from there. It's just gonna go up from there because your voice yeah. is gonna be heard. Your influence will be seen in the corridors of power. Your impact will be felt in the places of power. You're a royal priesthood. That's why we are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are an ambassador, says the Lord. You are a representative, right? You are a bondage breaker in Jesus' name. You are a territory taker. You're taking territory right now. And you will continue to take territory. Because he's put a rod of iron in your back. A rod of iron in your backbone. A rod of iron in your backbone. What is 
that fear, that means when anybody comes to resist you, when anybody comes out to push you out of your position, that rod of iron is going to keep you strong, immovable, unseasonable, indomitable, and they're going to say, how is that that they're, that they're coming up against all this resistance and they're still standing and they're still showing up and they're still coming because the Lord says, I put a rod of iron in your back. You are a world changer. You're not, you're on the head and not the tail. You're a history maker. You're a record breaker. You're a pace setter. You're a trail blazer. You are God's mouthpiece. You are God's messenger. In Jesus' name, you are smart. And you are sealed by the living God. You belong to him. He will not let you fail. He will not let you slip. And he will not let go of you. He says, you are in the palm of my hand. And nobody can remove you. Nobody can resist you. I'm going to give you words that nobody can resist. They're going to say, they're speaking the word of God. Are you ready to walk with kings? Are you ready to walk with officials? Are you ready to dine with kings? Are you ready to dine with officials? That is in your future. Okay, I see the Lord releasing, releasing appointments right now. There are appointments that you're going to step into. He's got appointments already reserved for you. Okay? He's got arrangements. He's making arrangements. He says, I'm going to give you invitations. I'm going to give you installations. You'll be installed. You'll be, you'll be working with the official. You're going to be closely working with the official. They're going to want your expertise. They're going to want your opinion. They're going to want your presence. And you're going to go, whoa, okay. <laughs> but the Lord says, don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated because I'm taking you into their presence and they will favor you. You already have favor. As soon as you walk into their presence, they're going to open the doors and they're going to favor you. You won't even have to say a word. The favor is already there. Okay? They're, you're going to have interviews. And then you're going to have designations. You're going to be designated. You're going to be set apart. You're, you are going to be Money's gonna come. Money's gonna come for what you're doing. Joshua 3 7. Today I will exalt you on the side of all of Israel. Today I will exalt you in the sight of all of Israel. So that they may know, they may know that as I was with Moses, so I am with you. And that goes for you too. Right? He is going to exalt you because he says, because you are Israel. And he says, so that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I am with you and you and you and you and you in Jesus' name. If you, if you can do it for Daniel, he's going to do it for you. Okay, God anointed you to overcome. God anointed you to overcome. God anointed you to come from the back. God anointed you to come from the rear. God anointed you to come from the tail end. He brings us from the back to the front. He brings us from the back to the front. You'll move swiftly, says the Lord. You'll go from below to above, from under to over. Your progress is going to be uncommon. Your progress is going to be uncommon. Your progress is going to be unusual. Your progress is going to be surprising in Jesus' name. 
In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. I release that overtaker anointing in your life. I release that spirit of acceleration in your life. People are going to say, how did she get there? How did they get there? How did this happen? Well, it's the spirit of acceleration is upon your life. The spirit of authorization is upon your life. The spirit of validation is on your life. The spirit of endorsement is on your life. And that's going to open doors wide open in Jesus' name. Verse 46, King Nebuchadnezzar said, Who is this God who reveals secrets? God has been revealing secrets to you. God has been revealing secrets right now. This word is secret. Because who would think, right, that that kind of thing could happen to us? Right, that we would go to dignitaries, that we would meet officials. How could that happen? I'm nobody, right? But God says he's revealing secrets the things that are to come. He said, I show you those things that are to come. Okay, so, he, and then we're saying, well, who is this God? He said, who is this God? He said, he said, he is the king of kings. That's who he is. He is the Lord of lords. That's who he is. And he's the light of the tribe of Judah. That's who he is. He is the maker of heaven and earth. Okay, but it'll look real anointed 
It's going to look real anointed. It knows the word. It's going to say it. It's the Spirit. Right? Because it couldn't come in a man or a woman. Yes. But, but, um, but it knows the word. It knows the word. And 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 it knows They're going to start cursing you in Jesus' name. We curse that in the name of Jesus. Every name shall be Every name is going to bow. Matthew 16, 18, and we're not done. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. The gates are a place of power. It's a place of power. That's where decisions are made. Okay, so in the county executive, where the executives meet. Donde los ejecutivos se encuentran. Where uh, it's where people of high esteem meet, right? People of, uh, okay, senators, power brokers, kind of things. But the Lord says, but the Lord says they they may have their smarts. They may have their smarts. They may, may be gifted. They may be strong. Because some of them are not going to be for you, right? Some people will not be for you. All right, no matter how good you are, no matter how pretty you are, no matter how nice you are, they're not going to be for you. But the Lord said the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Amen. 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 Am
come towards the park, like our car, like he started like surrounding our car and pushing us, like, you know, really? by his actions, yeah. doing that. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I got super scared. Sure, sure. Because that was very unusual. And when I looked at him, he, he did this to me. My husband was just concentrated on not getting to the, to the dark area, right? And he did this to my husband. And when he did that, I was like, no, I'm not in, in fear. I picked up my phone and I, I, I make sure that he saw me pick up the phone and I called the police. And when he saw that, he left. But he tried to, you know, try to like push us towards the dark yeah. area. And I had seen that in, in a dream. So it was something prophetic. I saw demons in the corner and they were waiting for our, we used to have a, it was a truck. You know? And I saw the demons waiting for us in the traffic light. And they had their feet were so fast because once that light got green, they run after us so fast. Well, the God delivered us from, from that. Yeah. But that was because the principalities and, and the rulers here did not want us to get established. That's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now we're here years after. And this is a victory for the Lord, not for yeah. us. Yeah. For the kingdom of God. Yes. And now we have met uh, people from the city, really important people from the city that uh, oh, were, amen. we came amen. to beautify this place. This floors didn't look like this. They were like covered in, in very heavy grease. Remember? Yeah. Uh, she came to our first service mm -hmm. and we asked the owner, can we beautify this place? We, this is our business. This is what we do. They said, well, you have to come to a, me a meeting with uh, the veterans from this place and people from the city, they will, they will make a decision based on what you propose. And so we prayed, we asked for prayer, and we showed up, and there are they're people that are very serious. Veterans are people that are very serious. And, and um, the owner had told us, I don't think they're gonna take that estimate that you're giving them. We, we uh, look for a vendor. And we gave them the, the, the amount, and he said, I don't think they're gonna take it because we're a nonprofit organization. But you can show up, See what happens, and I was like, Yes, you know, wherever there's like one percent of chance in anything, you take it. So yeah. we can't, so we can do it boldly. And we walked in here. There was, I saw someone from my school that's an authority in this city, and from my when I used to go to high school, and that was God giving like grace, you know, for us. So, to make the, sh the story short, we had you know the grace from the Lord, and, and He said, Yeah, go ahead. Uh, they even had the, those little hammers that they have at the, at the fort. And they all made their decision that they were going to allow us to beautify this hospital you know, that belongs to the Lord. And um, now we, we have found grace with the owner. Now he says, anything you need, any supplies, we'll pay for it. Okay? Anything that you need. Pay for it. from the Lord. So everything that she was saying, you know, I was not taking it in a way, you know, that it's going to make me feel proud. I already know the opposition that we've been having in this city, but I also know that great God that opens yeah. doors and that no man can shut. That's for you too. Hallelujah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I just have to give God the glory. Because that was a very scary night. I had my children with me, but I knew that, that God had given me a dream. That dream was very prophetic. But the enemy had no power over this family. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. 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 So we have two more participations, and then we move on to fellowship. Yes. We have a very own special dear to my heart, Pastora Rosalba Conger. She's going to deliver a prophetic word for the pastors here of the house. Amen. 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 You know, they, they come over, they're very uh, dear to my heart. You know, I know you guys know this, that when you meet people that are special, that God meant for you to meet them, there's a special love, even though you don't know them for so such a long time, but it's a spiritual connection. Um, this is a very beautiful woman of God, a prophetess, and the Lord says that you're a prophet, that you know that you are, and they can, her husband too, you have that mantle over your life, and I just, I'm, I feel very honored that you're here taking part of this. And I'm humbled that you would come, both of you, with your beautiful daughter. Thank you for having us. Um, sometimes when I give a word, a lot of the times I don't remember what I say, because it's really the Lord yeah. saying it every now and then, like, I do remember. Um, and 
there was something that was said to you earlier and the Holy Spirit triggered my memory and reminded me of a prophetic word that you gave me before. I think it was a few months back. And I want to just release this word over you. And I want to say a little bit about our background because it's important. And that's part of the reason that we're here also. <laughs> we love them and we're so happy and excited. Um, for them, is that it? Oh, yes, I'm so sorry <laughs> that carried away. This is the palabra que me dio que yo le di a ella. Oh, you know what? Well, I speak Spanish, so I'm going to it's an honor and a pleasure to be here today. <laughs> forward 